Okay, we have really big news and we are so excited to share it with you guys. It's really special. Okay, we're not pregnant. No. Don't get excited God, about that. It's not nothing pregnant. that big, no. okay? <laughs> we, Absolutely not. We love our two kids. Yes. Our two kids, okay? <laughs> and we love our RV. In fact, we have been traveling for three and a half years and we mm -hmm. have not found an RV that we like more than the one we're living in, which is really saying a lot because yeah. most RVers are switching rigs like once every year. I mean, some people are even more than that. Yeah, and we've been in ours for almost four years now, and we have a Forest River Sierra, and we love it. We love the quality, we love the layout. We have been super happy with ours. We've even dealt with some warranty stuff and little repairs, and their company's been really great. As you might know, RV companies and repairs and all, it's, it's a nightmare. And so it was a refreshing <laughs> yeah. experience working with Forest River anytime we had issues, but we are so excited to be joining them as ambassadors now. We'll tell you what that means in a second, but here's the cool part. The kids actually do not know anything about this, no. and we're about to share it with them. But we're going to tell them that this is an episode about decorating your RV for kids. So, let's call okay. them. Okay, I'm excited so, to see yeah, what they think. <laughs> they're going to, y'all, they're going to flip. They are going to flip. Okay, guys. Come here, please. You ready? Okay guys, uh, just a reminder, this is an episode talking about decorating your RV as kids. I know you guys are kids, okay. so that worked out pretty cool to include you. Hold on, let me just get this set up right. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. Okay. And you <laughs> just, I just want you to answer whatever's natural. Are you so still? Okay. okay. So still. Yeah, I can't. This first question is for Lacey. Tell me okay. one thing you would do to decorate your room as a beautiful young teenager. Uh, <laughs> what would you do? What do you want to do for your room? Does it matter if it's like decorations or add on? Whatever comes to your mind, you can okay. one thing. I want to put another slide on my Another room. slide? Oh, okay. Where my okay. window is, that can go out and I can put like books and stuff there. Ooh. Oh, a window slide. Okay. I mean, if you could have your bed area be any color, what would you pick? Any color for your bed area, what would you pick? Black with stars in the sky. Like Ooh, a star like a sky. night sky. Like a Milky Way going okay. right over my head. Ooh, okay. that would be cool. Next question, Eli. Tell me one thing, just one thing you would do in your room to decorate that you think would be really cool. To decorate? Yep. For the whole room or just my bed? Yeah. Any, you whatever comes to mind. Okay, the whole room, I'd like it to be like red. Red. Oh, wow. oh I like, yeah, I, would, I agree with you that. You would do that, okay. Yeah. Paint the room red. Okay, now what about one thing for your bed, Lacey? Like, for my bed. You know, curtains or different stuff on your bed or whatever. I would like a little shelf to go in, the, like a little corner shelf. Okay. And I can okay. put um, this little sign I have. I, I could just put some little cute stuff up there to decorate it. Okay. okay. Uh, Eli, what's one thing you would do in your bed area? Well, I was let's see, I was kind of thinking that I could move to the couch and use that for Legos. Use your bed like, for Legos and like move to the couch? Like a Lego loft. Like I could take out the mattress, I okay. huh. could get a carpet, like a rug and put that in there. Okay. And then I could build my Legos in there. Okay. And I could just leave all the Legos out. I don't have to pick up the Legos. Nice. He is about too big for his bed, so. So that could work, okay. okay. I would like to that do this. So you know, we've been talking about um, like redoing stuff, but we've just decided, I don't know if we're gonna redo anything because I just don't know if we'll be in this RV long enough. Yeah, slide over a little what? bit. Huh? Slide over just a little bit. So here's the deal. We've decided <laughs> we can't do any decorating. Yeah. We're not what? gonna be able to change <laughs> anything. What? Because we're getting a new rig! Wait, <laughs> Yes! What? We are getting a new <laughs> RV. Forest River is giving us the latest RV that they have. It is the newest. Oh my gosh. Bunk house I cannot RV. wait to show you. I can't wait to show you on the computer how cool it is. <laughs> yes! yes. It is. Now, it's a lot. Let me tell you, it's a lot like what we have, but they got just some other cool things like the back, I will kid you not, thing opens, slides out underneath, underneath the RV. Underneath, underneath the bunkhouse. Like storage Wait. underneath roll. 
And get this. On the side over here, they've got shelves and a table with two chairs, with four chairs More, instead of benches. Yes, right here. No benches, yeah. tables and chairs. Instead of that. It's going to be amazing. When do we get it? Probably November. Not too long, like two months. In a months. couple of months. Couple of months. Months. Yeah. Yeah. months. So enjoy this RV where you got it because soon we're out of here, people. Okay, I just ripped my, my stuff down in my bed and you know, I'll just trash the RV because we're not doing no, it. Was silly <laughs> Don't trash it, alright. We see the stuff. Thank you guys. Hey, guys, um, Eli, we can pick beds. Oh my gosh. We can total, we'll go ahead and we'll also change. We can change it then if we decide we want a different one. Yep, that's right. We became partners with Forest River and they're building us a new 2022 Sierra for us to share with the world. We just have to pick it up in Elkhart, Indiana. We have packed up, I say we, Michelle has packed up some goodies for us to take with us, which include clothes and toiletries. And we are planning to leave out early today to start this drive all the way to Indiana. We're in a parking lot, and uh, that's how to get the kids up. Good morning. How you doing, buddy? How you doing today? It's gonna be a good day. Heading to pick up the new rig. Did you hear the truck last night? <laughs> yes. Hey, girl. Time to get up. Time to get up. was really noisy last night. Uh, that's what Eli's referencing. I'm not exactly sure why it was so loud, but like 3 a.m. some truck comes through and it's like revving the engine and flinging around. I mean, this, that could have been right down there. I don't know. I don't know. Practically there. I mean, it's going by quick. 1,089 to go. <laughs> We've been gone for 45 minutes. <laughs> We've only had two meltdowns. Everybody's happy. Lacey's <laughs> taking a nap. Eli's doing some reading. Mm -hmm. It's going to be an amazing <laughs> trip, no doubt. It is very strange, though, to not have the fifth wheel behind us. That's true. We're used to a lot more junk in the trunk, but today, <laughs> We're going light. Although we have a lot of junk back there, actually. <laughs> we have a lot of stuff back there. But we had to pack a lot of stuff. So we have um, one suitcase and one small duffel bag, and that's just our clothes for the next week. And then we packed four boxes of stuff so that we can temporarily move into the new RV. So we have two boxes of just bedding. Just bed stuff and pillows and then we brought a little bit of food and um, like towels and things like that so we have two boxes of that stuff and then you've got all your outdoor stuff in a box yeah the game plan is just try to get to Indiana <laughs> pick up the rig get all our stuff get familiar with it and then um, bring it back to Florida. I don't know if I shared that with you yet, but that's the plan. And so we basically have two days of driving, about eight hours each day. And so we're on day one, and so far seven hours and 15 minutes left. So what I'm doing is I'm checking Gas Buddy um, to see what the prices are, but also the app Get Upside, you can get cash back. So I've, in the last year, I guess, I've earned like $100 cash back. So right now we're not pulling the RV. So I might as well find these gas stations that are offering the cash back. Um, actually, even some restaurants, like there's a, a Popeye's Louisiana kitchen 
just down the street that offers 39% cash back. What? That's what it says on here. Wow. Nothing <laughs> vegan there though. No. <laughs> Well, we didn't find anything vegan at Popeyes, but we did manage to entertain ourselves with the ABC game and the odd sounds of travel children. Where's a Juan? I need a Juan for my J. Are we all on J? Yeah. Pretty serious ABC game right here. Everyone's on J. Except Eli. I don't know what Eli's on. Well, that might be the end of the ABC game right there. I don't see any other letters coming through. We'll just say I won. No, 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 no. We're gonna get J Junction. Yeah. What? What? No. Junction. No. J C T. Junction. Impossible. My <laughs> What is that? What is that? What are you doing back there? When you travel in an RV, you rarely stay in hotels, which naturally makes hotels a very special activity for the kids. Okay, thanks, Three for me, also, please. Oh, how about you, young man? Uh, uh, four. <laughs> four? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ready? We're gonna go see our new RV. Okay, and those are like areas you have to check on them? Yeah, yeah, so it's just like there might be a scratch or a dent and they need to fix it. Or okay. maybe some type of imperfection. So they bring one in each day from the line and they test it out and make sure that everything's good. So if there's any imperfections, then they can go back and say, hey, we found this problem and then they can go back and fix the ones that they messed up the day before. Nice. Forest River does have a snack no, machine. A dollar it's very important. Cents. That's why we're here, just to share that with you. So it's super important that we're catching stuff like that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So after they find the dent, they just radio back and they're like, hey, stop denting these so things. So they get a report. At okay. the end. So like basically they're running through and then they get put, if there's a serious issue, they'll get put over here and they'll get fixed. Okay. And then they'll send it back to the plant to get repaired for dents and you know, stuff. You know? Gotcha. Right. Yeah, so check this out. This is a rain bag. So there's a saver in there right now. Oh. So they're at, it's actually simulating <laughs> rain. No way. Yeah. And then so there's true. actually a person inside the unit right now. Okay. And she's walking around. Oh, nice. Wow, it does. That literally looks like rain. And it's a hard rainstorm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. So she's checking for leaks? Yep. So do they bring every unit in or just one out of each line to do one this every, test? One out of every line every day. Every day, okay. Yeah. RVs have to be lightweight, so naturally they can be a bit fragile. That's why it's great to see the level of care that goes into ensuring each unit is in its best condition before it leaves the plant. We're in it, and then we're like, um... What the heck? Holy cow. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> I can't believe how fast he did that. I thought for sure he was going to run into that pallet. I know. That's that the walls. Crazy. Those are the laminated walls. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we're going to get a first look at the RV. We've got Joe and Keegan over here. It's going to be good. Oh, oh, Eli's going to be the quality control guy. Not wow. Not wow. I'm so excited. Oh, this yeah. looks amazing. Yeah. Oh man, just like I thought it would be. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Huh? There's a, wait. So they're still finishing up a couple things on this. So you'll see like some marks they actually go through for quality control. Put a little notes on things that they want to fix before they deliver it to the customer. So they've got some of that. So we aren't taking it home today, but this is so cool. We just love the look of this, the colors. Look at this oven. Oh man, that is a massive oven. Hey, good news, our oven is actually pretty big. Wow, that's huge. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Oh man. Yep. Wow, this is great. Yeah, we got a vacuum cleaner. Yeah. 
Oh, so exciting. Wow, this is gonna this is gonna be our new home right here. Woo! Lazy, what do you think? I love it. I cannot believe this. Wow. Don't go in there with your shoes on. I know no be in my shower with your shoes on. Yes, inside. <laughs> nice. Oh, I like that. You don't like this better, Dad. I don't yep. think your stuff's gonna fall out. Oh, I think you're right. <laughs> you think? It's amazing. I love it though. No, I think that's cool that you can see the process yeah. of like the things you fix. But better though, no. Oh yeah, no, that's this gonna be great. Is so exciting. Wow. Picture yourself chopping carrots already. This is my favorite floor plan for kids because like they get truly their own area. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, well with that double slide back there, it just yeah. has oh, so much space. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. yeah, I was glad that they had like a like, Oh yeah, these were deep. Better. Yeah. That's awesome. Nice. Is that on the top right now? Probably, yes. Oh, I'm gonna go and check then that out. Yeah. We got that California, so. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, nice. Oh man, that's great. Look at that. Let's go on the roof, Lexi. Yeah, up here. Well, at least you can. I know how to get that one. See any solar up there? Ah, oh, yes, the awesome. beginning of something large and beautiful. But how do they make these RVs? How do they get the roof on and the slides in? Well, I'm going to show you on the next video. Follow us and click that bell if you want to be notified when the next one launches. Until then, we'll keep exploring this new RV.